Well, today we've made it to uh, Glen May the second time, and um, I'm going to talk a bit about what's down here and the beach, especially. I've done the Glen, parked up here because it's extremely windy today, and um, you won't be able to hear what I'm saying down there. So, we'll just talk a bit before we go. So, on Glen May Beach, there's lots have happened over the years, there's been a shipwreck. Whale washed up, used to be a cafe down here. And uh, later on today we're going to meet the hermit. He used to live in a cave and entertain the visitors. Well, he's made a return today. Well, lately anyway, and he's going to give you a little bit of a spiel of the place. So if you'll come with me now, we'll uh, walk down the path to the beach. You can probably hear the breeze. Not sure, the breeze was the right word or not, really. But I can certainly hear it. So I think we'll be here. Uh, Tone this down a bit and give you some music. Mactillic Vallon, I think it will be today. So this is the path down from Dalby. And um, decent path. You can park up on the road and walk down to the beach and then along the beach and into Peel. In the summertime it's an ice cream or a decent meal at the creek. Zigzag path, so relatively safe. You can see the waves crashing on the beach today. Yeah, there'd be a shipwreck with those waves crashing in. It's a very small beach, no sand. The lumber rock there is known as the bonnet. It's supposed to look like a lady's bonnet, I was told. And just over this big rock just there, I guess. It's the little cafe. I found a picture of that, it's not very good, but I'll tell you where it was. So give us some idea what was down here.
you're a bit angry today, the LC. The shipwreck was just a little bit further along, the rock over there. Yeah, this is our little cave on the beach. And, uh, the water's obviously found some weaknesses. It's eroded it. And a few shipwrecks ship that have come in here to shelter, I'm sure, over the years. I have to say, it's not easy to walk over these pebble stones, so I don't go on your neck. So jerky it doesn't get home. And the sand and LC rumbling in. It's just looks so calm today, doesn't it? It's not always been the case though, I'm afraid. It's always been the case. Well, for the first time probably for nearly a hundred years, the hermit has returned. And before you say it, yes, I do look a bit like a hermit. I haven't brought a Bible with me, but I brought some information about the place because I can't remember it. Sorry, folks, so I've got to read it to you. So here we go. Glen May was known based as the luxuriant Glen. And uh, as I said, it's about 11 and a half acres, full of ferns, and relics of ancient forests, apparently. The Monterey Pines have seen, we've seen quite a lot of the um, ferns, which I'm going to try and name. And uh, also, much to my amazement, there's a unique Glen May Bramble. It's a microspecies of the common blackberry. Never heard of it. And down the lower part of the Glen, there's the uh, wheel casement. It's the more airing wheel case. And it's the only evidence of mining left here, really. And uh, when they finished with it, they took the wheel. That I was added to Fox Hill again, Russian. Lead and silver is what they were mining from here. The name Glen May was original Glen Meek, which means yellow glen, and it's earned its name from the river which flowed through it. When the river was flooded, brought an iron residue, which gave it that unique colour. The glen was divided into two parts in the early 1500s, and uh, when the forestry board bought it off Agnes Wellstead, in the early 1960s you paid £9,000 for this lot, today that's 200 grand. and the trees in the glen were valued at 125 quid when the forestry board burnt it, or bought it. In 1980 the bridge above the waterfall collapsed, it cost 14 grand to replace it, and the lower bridge was replaced in 2001. When the actual uh, glen was taken over the forestry board, they asked the museum for how they could uh, stop the water ruining the um, mine casings building and Dr. Largegaard told them to sod it. I think what she meant was put some sods of earth on top and it seemed to have worked. In uh, 1924, steamer went, uh, came ashore here, the SS, what's it called, SS Connemara. 12 crew men, they all survived, they huddled on the beach overnight under a tarpaulin. I'll take a video and show you which rocks they came in on. And what I can see, or oh, check out, those it looks like someone down there is where the SS Connemara would have gone aground. The wheel was built by a, a Douglas Millwright called Thomas Kane, it was 34 feet in diameter. We stopped mining here about 1870 when the company who owned it went into liquidation. Like all mines, it more or less ceased those particular days. Still a few adders open around the place like. And um, some information I got, especially about the uh, Alfred Hitchcock affair, was from Kelly. She 
who wants to film and give me the information. The other one is by Eric Sloan, who's giving me some information as well. And um, he was telling me that Mr. Carr and the local farmer used to come down here with his tractor and horse and collect rack off the beach. Can you believe it? Rack. Load that into a wagon. Not only be stinky and smelly, be hard work, and then dragging it up to his farm. We don't really know we're born, do we? We do not. Uh, so, we're going to go back up the glen now, see if I can find out where that spot was that Hitchcock used to his film. And um, the only thing I haven't seen today is the fourth uh, hazelnut tree. I'm sure they're here. Uh, this, I find a small colony of Fulmers though. And they're obviously on the, on the cliff side above the river. This is the uh, home or nesting area for Fulmers. It's not a very good shot because they're too far away, but you can't blame them, can you? You just got to climb up there to do anything to them. Anyway, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this, to be fair. Hey, Penny. So oh, the bridge we go. Come on, Penny. Home we go. Time for definitely time for a cup of tea now, I think. So they call this river on that. Notice with it there, the Russian River. I also, the Glen May River. But I'm sure they know best. <laughs> 